experienced racer for Canada, you know, Olympic gold medalist and, and silver medalist, but that's over 2,000 meters. Um, and once you get a lead like this in 2,000 meters, it's very, very difficult to get it back. But a lot of things can happen in this 17-minute race. I mean, they've, they've got to break clear now. They've really got to break clear. They've got to push Cambridge out the stream. And they're doing that now. They're slightly moving away, but they need clear water. They need to get their bows, which is behind the cops, clear of the, um, sorry, their stern, clear of the Cambridge uh, bows there. Oxford in the dark blue near. It's the bank on this Surrey bend and making good headway here. And worryingly for Cambridge, they are actually starting to move towards clear water. Listen to that from uh, Oscar Cirilla driving his men on. Both Coxes fiercely determined here to establish the advantage and make it count. But it's Oscar Zarella that will be happy with what he sees there as he glances across to his right. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the, the, the Oxford have got a slightly lower rate there, slightly lower rate of uh, stroke. I mean, I, I want to see a bit more of uh, aggression from Oxford moving away. You've got to break the crew. If Cambridge are hanging on, they'll know they've got a chance now. Once they get round this bend, they know that it's worth it's worth at least a length here. They know if they're still in contact, then they can still come because the bend comes back in their favour. Once they get past Chiswick Airs Island on the right-hand side, then the bend around the Barnes Bridge comes in their favour, and they'll get that sort of it's worth about half a length, three quarters of a length. Yeah, it's it's impressive impressive stuff by Cambridge here. Yeah, it's impressive working well. on. This is superb stuff, and Henry Fieldman will be telling his men exactly that. They are doing what they have to do in this race from a very difficult position. That island uh, that Alex mentioned, the Chiswick Eight, followed by the Chiswick Steps and Chiswick Pier, and more landmarks on this wonderful and ancient course. And those are the landmarks that the Coxes will be keeping a really close eye on because they'll pick certain points to keep aiming the boat at as they go to try and make those advantages count. But Cambridge here doing a wonderful job. And now Oxford is slightly moving away. I think they've decided this is the, uh, the point where they've got to break Cambridge. They know that that bend comes back in Cambridge's favour. So they'll be trying to push them wide out the stream. You can see that line in the middle of the river. That's integral. It's the fastest water on um, fastest bit of the water uh, on the river um, and uh, and it's worth quite a bit of speed so they're going to be fighting each other Oxford are kind of in the more dominant position now they can they can dictate to Cambridge more of the line so they can be more center of stream I'm, I'm, I'm impressed here Cambridge doing a really good job there you can see Steve Steve Dudek, the big powerhouse in the sixth seat there really kind of pushing the boat on George he's got his head down He's a, he's a tenacious guy there. He's a, he's a real fighter, and you can see that when they race the Kiwis and the, uh, the French pair at the Olympic Games. I, would want, I, I still want more from Oxford. I want them to push away. Constantine Lewis, he's got experience.